Hello and welcome. Silra is here with World of Tanks. You may realize that the audio levels are different. My voice sounds a little different. That's because I'm trying out recording World of Tanks content for all of you fine folks out there with a secondary setup, which is not my usual gaming rig and whatnot. And that also means that I am in a place where I can record using my desktop microphone, something I cannot do, as I mentioned in a microphone talk video a while back. Um, I cannot do that currently where I currently live, where my actual gaming rig is. But enough about that, hopefully uh, these audio levels are fine and I'm going to be fiddling with them here to get it perfect for you folks over the next few videos as I sort it out. But this is post-gameplay commentary, and I am playing Churchill 7, and I'm trying way too hard in it. Churchill 7 is a tank I do not actually really, really enjoy. I do not mind occasional slow heavy tank, however this thing is way too slow. Also, its armor does not work. Like, even in, well, this is kind of a perfect matchup for this tank, because I'm a top tier heavy here. However, even in this sort of a matchup, um, Tire 5 tanks which get to your side or to your rear will just absolutely go through that armor of the tank. Also, the gun is not all that awesome. Yes, it is rapid fire, it has sort of decent penetration for being Tire 6, but it is a medium tank on a heavy tank. Hey, I managed to make the armor work, and I have almost removed this thing from play, and somebody actually does the removing for me, but, well, I still get the, the, the assistance there. So, yeah, I'll just say I do not really like this tank. I am, however, slowly playing my way through it, as I, well, can be bothered to play this tank vehicle, and slowly but surely will make my way through it uh, to... Get to the next one in line. And that was an interesting play by this Stug 3G. I don't know what that was all about, but it was an interesting play. And also, three enemy tanks in the cap circle with most of my team in the north. Okay, let's do something about that then. Because I happen to play these games to win them. I don't particularly care. I have mentioned this before, but I don't particularly care about uh, medals or how many kills I got or stats in general when I play these games. Um, I happen to like to do all the things I can to try and win every game I play. And that includes helping my friends or charging solo into a cap circle to try and get things done. And here we go. Hello there. Can I interrupt the cap? Not with that shot. No. Uh, do better. And one nice thing about a rapid firing gun is that you can absolutely, well, try and interrupt cap circles. Also, shooting builds, buildings out of your way is much better when your gun reloads this fast. Instead of, um, you know, firing once every 10 seconds as some of the big hobbiters do in, at these, lo well, these tires. Like, let's say, that 122mm gun on the ice. Granted, uh, I will happily play an IS or a T-150 uh, over this tank. Hey, I got a fire. So far, so good. I have done over my own health in damage in a Churchill 7. That is already better than I mostly do with this tank, but that's partially because this thing is so damn slow that it fights tend to be over by the time you get there. However, this game is pretty much done, and I have randomly wandered forward, trying way too hard against most enemies, because I have actually tried to make this tank work, and I don't know if we would have won this um, if I didn't come here to actually interrupt the cap circle. So I'll attribute a little bit of that to myself, because so far, so good. And thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this reminds people to deal with the cap circle.